Hey y'all, I'm back with another one. So I am cooking some trout. Not just your ordinary trout. This is going to be a very delicious flavor trout. Look at that Asian thing by Buffalo Wild Wings, y'all. That's what I'm going to put on this trout. This gave it a nice flavor. I got some black pepper. I got some Obey seasoning. And I got some, uh, uh, what did I call them? Uh... Red hot pepper flakes. So let's season up this trout, y'all. Just with these three little seasons. Of course, the Asian Zing sauce gave this trout a bomb flavor. Now, I'm always bringing something new to the channel so y'all can just try and get into it. Okay? But I tell you, if you try this on any type of fish, I believe, you will not be sorry. Now, I tried it on the trout because I had trout yesterday. I had a real, it's a nice small piece of trout. It looks large on the channel, but it's like a three ounce, maybe, yeah, probably a three and a half ounce or four ounce a piece of trout. So, um, now I'm going to take this Asian thing out. You see, I shake it around, let you see it. And um, I'm going to put some of this Asian thing on this trout. Check this out. I had to get that piece off of there. It was stuck to my top. <laughs> so, after seasoning it up, I just drizzle a little bit of this uh, Asian Zing sauce. Just a little bit, y'all. Just to give it a little flavor. And I rub it in with this spice seasoning. Okay, y'all? Oh, man. This was such a pleaser to me. And when I say crowd pleaser to me... It was just my piece of fish. Now, Dee Dee, on the other hand, she liked eating um, tilapia, and she liked whiting. But I wanted some trout, so I like salmon. I like trout. I like orange ruffin. I like whiting. And I also like uh, cod and buffalo, of course. And I also like... Uh, any other so now y'all i'm gonna sear this trout in some extra virgin olive oil on this stove and i forgot to do a little something but i'm gonna show it to you on the channel so of course you see my pot over there in the corner with some water in it that little piece of broccoli yeah that's going with my meal mm -hmm. i'm gonna have me some wild rice and some broccoli with this trout so tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite fish? And would you try this seasoning on your fish? So it's a two-part question. What is your favorite fish you like to eat? And would you try this on your fish this season in this kind of flavor? So I'm taking my knife and kind of scoring the fish so it can have like those little rippets on it. <laughs> Which, when you do this, when you sear the fish on the stove... That gives it a chance to cook through, okay? So, it was very flaky, very good, and very flavorful. So, now I'm going to take my spatula, slide that down in that pan. Let me look out here. I love to let y'all hear that sear so y'all can know, hey, how it's cooking in that pan. So, now I have the skin part down. Now, on my uh, trout or my salmon, I love to keep the skin on because I like the flavors of the seasoning sticking to the skin. And it gives a little crisp of a taste. So, now I'm over here showing y'all what I'm about to do with this broccoli. And I showed you this on my live. This is a super easy way to cook your broccoli when it still has the stem on it. You could chop it up, but hey, I like this because it cooks all the way up the stem. So now we're back at the trout part. And she's sitting here just letting it cook. Let's talk, y'all. When you cook fish, how do you like to cook your fish? Do you fry it, bake, boil, broil, sear? What do you like to do? Every so often, I get a taste for some seared trout or fish. And I like to do that. 
Now, no, my skin is not burnt. Because you got to understand that it had the seasoning on it. Plus, the skin is white. And it's, you know, it has like a silver color. <laughs> but, anywho, it turned out wonderful. Now, let me flip it and let you see on the other side. See how delicious that looks? So, I'm going to flip it back over and let it continue searing so it can get the right cooking time for me. So, I have to let it rest for a little bit. But anyway, I asked the question, do you like to sear, fry, bake, boil, broil your fish? Is it, Or do you just like any type of way of cooking your fish? And what is some of like a, you know, like a seasoning that you use on it? You know, leave some comments down there below, y'all. And let me know. Because, uh, hey, I'd like to try new things. You know, this was a combination that I was thinking about doing anyway. Because I was going to do teriyaki trout, which I think next time I will do and see that on the channel. But I wanted, since I had this Asian Zing sauce, I said, I'm going to try this. And I am going to cook some trout and put it in some um, other things, too. But that's coming on later, <laughs> okay? And one thing I like about this fish, is not super expensive. So now I'm showing you how my broccoli is doing. It is doing, y'all. It is Cook to perfection. And when I say perfection, y'all, yes. <coughs> perfection, excuse me. So, now I'm getting a pan so I can take it out of the water and uh, chop it up so I can show you guys how I'm going to plate this stuff up, you know. So, here I come over there and Take it out of the water. Come on, T-Ball. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> Sitting around in the kitchen. So now I'm getting ready to chop it up. See how nice that knife go through that broccoli? Yes, it is done. It is cooked just like I want it to be cooked. And I'm just cutting it off into whole spears. Oh. This was so good. Y'all, this was so good. I, I enjoyed it. I like cooking trout when I am relaxing. And yes, <clears throat> trout is so good with mashed potatoes too, y'all. I've checked, I've cooked it with some mashed potatoes too. So let's plate it up, y'all. Let's plate it up. Okay. So I got my little cute little <laughs> um it's like a little uh, tray that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. Presentation is everything, y'all. Everything for me. I'm just like, if it don't look good, I ain't going to eat it. If it don't look good on the plate, I'm not going to touch it. You know how they be doing on the menus, making that food look all pretty and stuff, and looking good and stuff? I'll be wanting my food to come out to me looking just like it does on the menu. If they miss something... Then I'm going to be like, hey, it don't look like this. So presentation means everything. You want me to buy it, then I want it to look just like I saw it. <laughs> so <laughs> I got some broccoli on here. Steamed broccoli, of course. And let me show y'all what I got. Yes, y'all save me some in the store. So wild rice, 90 second wild rice from Great Value. And I only put me like maybe a one fourth cup of that on there on the plate because you know regardless to why rice being a good healthy choice as well in rice i still kind of watch my carbs okay so i just put a little bit on the plate and then i spread it around and make it look like it's a whole lot job just make it look like it's a whole lot but yeah it was just about a one fourth cup you know and so there we go look at that isn't that a beauty <laughs> Ooh. Now I know, plate game coming through. Yes, plate game coming through. 
because I know this will be a crowd pleaser. And I am also going to make this meal as well as many other meals that is going to be super easy to reheat in my freezer cooking meal vlogs that are coming soon. Okay, because the fall of the year and I got to show you some good, easy stuff. Look at that. Easy peasy. Delicious. 10 out of 10, I recommend y'all try it. And Asian Zing was my friend with a few little other spices. So I'm going to drizzle just a little bit on top. Didn't want to put too much on it while I was cooking it. But I just wanted to drizzle just a little tiny bit and take my knife and just go across it with a little glaze. So that heat from the fish could just rub that glaze on there, y'all. I just had a good time. So I want y'all to check this out on that short as I was check eating this it. Meal. And I hope you all enjoy watching me make this meal. What is your favorite fish? And what do you like to make? Do you like the searing on the stove? Do you like the bacon and other? Do you like it fried? Follow me over at Simple Meals by T Vlog. That's right, Simple Meals by T Vlog and Spaced Up Wordings. Wild rice, steamed broccoli, and trout with Asian spicy zing trout from the Buffalo Wing flavor. All right, child. Bye.